Excuse us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> One, two. have a glass of kombucha for my gut health and I want to do my workouts and I thought to myself let's spend the day together even if it's almost 1 p.m. we can spend the weekends together there is no better lights than sunlight this is giving me everything that I want from my lights and I never get and why don't you do a workout outside? Because this inside is giving, it's not giving aesthetic. So let's go outside and do my workout. strip before I put anything on my face this is the first time I'm going to be using a wax strip on my face I used to shave my face I think my skin is too sensitive for shaving so I've stopped doing that but you'll still be seeing a lot of fine hair on your lip area so trying the wax strip seems very straightforward <laughs> There's literally no hair. Did this... Did this... There's no hair. Do I not have hair on my body? I have no idea what's going on, guys. I'm just going to let it be. This is to wipe off the wax. My friend is living in the UK. She's moving out of the UK and I feel a lot of emotions, one of them being sadness because this is my closest friend in this country. Obviously, I'm not happy about that. But I'm going to go and help her pack and that's where I'm off to now. I'm so sorry if I sound very down because I, I don't feel happy. If you've been following me for a while, you know that I am a diasporan, meaning that I have been, I'm not from the UK, I live in the UK, I'm Nigerian, I've been in the UK for about three years and coming to the UK was leaving a lot of my friends at home. To be fair, a lot of my friends also left nigeria and moved to other countries that had other opportunities 
um, moving away from your country, you're moving away from everything you know, you're moving away from your family, you're moving away from your friends, you're moving away from your culture which is something you we take with you but there's just a difference between having culture in your country and having culture in a different country and to be honest it was it was quite difficult for me adjusting to this new country making friends was i don't have a lot of friends i've never had a lot of friends and because i'm very picky with people that i let into my personal space it was more of a trick making friends and i feel like i have just now had like a community that is strong and people from that community are moving away again because the uk is setting some rules that's setting some laws that make it difficult for immigrants to get the best out of the country i mean i get their reasoning but like coming to this country you invest a lot you invest a lot into the economy you invest a lot into even the money you spend coming to this country that's a lot that's a huge investment and then to not see your investment pay returns because the uk is <sighs> I don't want to say anything negative about the country. Obviously, the country has blessed me a lot. But I just feel like I've been... I'm at a point where I have a good community. And now people from that community are moving away again. And a lot of people have left, like, going to better things. Because other countries do offer better. But this one is hitting me, like, really hard. Because this is my closest friend in this country. My closest friend. My closest person. This is my person. So, it's hitting me very, very hard. And I'm just trying to keep it in. I'm not a very emotional person. But I'm trying to keep it in. I haven't cried. I don't know if I'm going to cry. And obviously, out of sight. It's not out of mind. We're still going to be friends. But there's a difference between having your friend in your personal like space and having your friend like a long way out. And that's just like how it is anyway these are all the emotions i'm feeling on this perfect saturday because the saturday is perfect because it's sunny outside um we forgot to rub face cream this is what i use on my face obviously not the best but it's for dry skin and until my skincare comes because my skincare now is just crap it's not doing anything good for me until my skincare comes, I'm going to keep on using this. I just ordered some from a Nigerian brand that I saw my my friend's skin. And it was, it was, you know when skin is like skinning, you're like, your skin looks so good. You have no makeup on and your skin is glowing. What are you using? Please tell me. And she told me it's this brand. And I checked them out and I was able to order some stuff. So hopefully it gives me the glue that it gave her because her skin is mad. I'm using this Refined Beauty gel, brow gel for my brows. It's, it's the one thing that slays my brows down because I'm not doing any makeup. And then you open it and that is I just clean it off with my hand. I'm not really fussed about it. Drugstore lip gloss. Okay, so I'm running late. Let's go and help my friend pack. <sighs> this is the fit. Very casual. I have these necklaces that I got from... I think I got them from AliExpress. I think I got this one from Shein. And I got this one from AliExpress. I like the little eyes on it. Look at this. I think it's really cute. I have this basic white shirt that i just got for my friend and this regular pants from primark and my puma socks because it's a very casual fit
good morning guys or good afternoon because the day is already like almost gone i got home really late yesterday i really need like to trim clean up my eyebrows if you can see but i'm just doing a very light makeup because it's nothing too serious i'm going to go into the airport with my friend and just seeing her off basically if you can see here from the wax of yesterday this is the first time i've done waxing on my upper lip and i have scarring and also it didn't pick up any hairs so i don't know if i don't have hairs on my upper lip i don't know what happened but i'm not thinking about that now it's not about me so i'm not thinking about that now this thing where i get older but just never let's go guys um we're going to heat room when my depression works the graveyard shift all of the people i've ghosted stand there in the room i should not be left to my own devices they come with prices and vices i end up in crisis <laughs> I wish I was free. I wish I was It's me. Hi. I'm the problem. It's me. A tea. Time. Everybody agrees. I'll stand around. 